there is an armed conflict going on in certain parts of Iraq and sometimes it's really heavy, it's massive and it's very violent. The number of the displaced has really climbed up very rapidly and some people are talking about hundreds of thousands of displaced people who had to flee. Homes, sometimes hospitals have been somehow targeted. In addition to that, there are usually a certain number of health staff working in such hospitals. When there is fighting, the number is reduced a great deal. And this happens when you really need more staff because there are more injuries coming to, to the hospitals. Medicines, medical supplies become harder to get to medical facilities as well because the situation is not safe, access is difficult, it's also difficult for the wounded to arrive to the hospitals because of the fighting. These places and these crews are there to save lives. I would like to appeal all parties to the conflict to, the, to make their work easier by allowing them to travel and to reach these places as quickly as possible because one minute could make the difference between somebody's life or death. Most of the people who have left their homes have actually taken refuge with family members, other family members in other towns, villages and cities. When I was in Bartala, for example, a lot of people told me that they have hosted one or two or three families, which has actually degraded the economic situation of the host families as well. So what the ICRC has been doing is trying to actually assist both the displaced people and the host families because as they again told me there is no employment in many of these places. Economic life has actually stopped. One thing that I really like to point out in particular is how resilient children are. Wherever I have been, they seem to be happy, they go around doing their job, they add joy to the lives of their families. And I think that somehow relieves a lot of the pain that the families have actually suffered. What we are providing to uh, such displaced people is what is needed most at uh, uh, such a difficult hour of their or time of their lives. It's mainly water, food and other relief items that they really badly need because many of them have left with nothing with them. They just carried their children and ran away because of the fear and the danger of being harmed.